Conan Show is live. Are you ready? Today, I'll be sharing five videos that send shivers down my spine. Don't miss out. Hit subscribe now. And let's face this chilling challenge together. Number five. The British family is haunted by a spirit named Freddy. Unlike many families dealing with paranormal issues, they have adapted to the haunting. They often ignore Freddy, laugh at him, or treat him like a mischievous. This unique approach has resulted in interesting videos. Come on, Freddy. I know we call you Freddy, but we don't know what to call you yet. But we like it. <gasps> I think this ghost doesn't like being called the wrong name. It doesn't physically touch the can, yet it makes a noise and moves. They never call it Freddy again, at least not directly. I can't see how this is faked. There's no visible string. In fact, there's no string in any of their videos. Like this one. Watch as the phone lifts and slams down when she says hello. Don't touch her. You don't have to touch her. And later they turn the light on just to prove that it's not fake. Come on. Put the light on, put the light on. <gasps> Look, the light is on. You can clearly see there is no fishing wire or strings. If this isn't a ghost, explain how it's happening because I don't know. It seems to hover. Most of the activity occurs in the living room while they are in the kitchen. Objects in the room move as if Freddy is trying to attract attention. Besides the phone, this dog picture is a favorite, animated and suspended in midair. You'll be all right. Oh yeah. I'm not lying, the picture is levitating. Yeah. It's, I can't, you can't. Someone might have been on a ladder off camera using a string in the last video, but I can't see it. In other videos showing the full room, there's a flashing red light, possibly a ghost leaving a voice message they don't play. I would have liked to hear Freddy's real voice. On a different day, on the other side of the house, pictures bob up and down, curtains move, and the windows are closed, ruling out an external wire. The picture drops on its own, and when the mother picks it up, the overhead lamp swings. Freddy uses swinging lights to annoy them, despite no visible string. Lights swing harder, expressing Freddy's anger. The door, the door, the door, the door. The door. Look oh, at that. Man. The door's never done that, ever. Wow. No severed, no one touches the door, and nobody is nearby. At seconds, you should see a string, but even at half speed and zoomed in, no string is found. The door truly closes on its house in the window, where objects always move. Freddy's outline appears. Some videos are easier to explain. Someone might be shaking the table from underneath. Okay. What? The table's moving. <laughs> Alright, stop that now. Look at the cat, look at the cat. I know. While some videos remain unexplainable even years later, I would have liked to see the other side of this picture to check if high-powered magnets were used. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance. It's intriguing that Freddy appears confined to the kitchen and living room areas. Something bad might have happened here, limiting it to these areas. Perhaps its anger will one day allow it to explore the rest of the home. In the meantime, they don't know what it is or what it's trying to convey, and their indifference only seems to fuel Freddy's determination to grow stronger and reveal his true form. Number 4 This was spooky thing happened on camera in Austin, Texas. A little kid wakes up in the middle of the night and somehow stands perfectly on the thin bars of his crib. This seems tricky for a toddler. Usually, they aren't that coordinated. Some folks say it's paranormal. I wasn't sure about this idea at first, but thinking about it, it does seem like the kid is leaning on something invisible. I have to say, the way he starts screaming is like something spooky is scaring him. He leaned over with his arms out. Unsurprisingly, he didn't fall forward. He looks around, seems scared like he knows it's unusual. It seems he's holding hands with something, maybe a ghost as there's no one else in the room. Then he falls backward, possibly pushed. I think it's a ghost because you rarely see a toddler keep balance that long, especially on the edge of a crib. Number 3 versus Rife, the Vegas Life YouTube channel explores Fort Fremont in Beaufort, South Carolina using only a spirit box and a camera. This leads to one of the scariest moments of their lives. In a small green room, they feel uneasy, sensing they're being watched. The camera captures breathing sounds they don't notice in the moment. I don't mess with no ghosts. Do you want to go by yourself? 
the hidden room makes them stumble over words and break into a sweat. I feel like I'm getting kind of chills a little bit. It's weird, like a body tingle, tingling body. I'm not like a, I don't know, it, it feels weird. It seems like a description of a haunted place. They quickly record an EP to verify. Spirit. Spirit. I heard it. This the following EVP doesn't seem to originate from the spirit box. Instead, it sounds like it's coming from behind her. Did it just say Megan? Yes. Oh my God. Oh, okay. That's good enough for me. All right. Got full freaking body chills right now. Scary whispers of her name overwhelm Megan, leading to the swift conclusion of the investigation. This occurrence brings back memories of a spooky exploration video from Washington at 4KC Fun years ago. A team of students, while exploring an abandoned building, senses danger and decides to turn back. Just before they do, one of them captures unsettling shadow figures in the hall. The hall, hall empty one moment, suddenly features a figure that clearly doesn't fit. An oddly shaped, short body with skinny legs, possibly hooved. In conclusion, what I'm trying to convey is that, based on these two videos, it's likely better to avoid exploring abandoned forts in the woods unless you're seeking something exceptionally creppy. Number two, Carbis House is now even more haunted due to the lingering presence of its previous owner, a man who lived there for 50 years. The spirit associated with the mysterious spear shows no signs of leaving anytime soon. As she continues to communicate with the apparition, it appears to increasingly comprehend her. The videos were captured using three different spirit boxes, and each time, the same male voice speaks to her. I'm going to turn this off and listen, okay? I'm going to listen. Holy We should talk. I'm trying to talk to you. Is there a demon in my house? Can you tell me what color my shirt is? Was with time, its powers increase, seemingly fueled by her energy and the attention it gets. What's your name? I am the flashlight went on. And after a while, it doesn't even need paranormal equipment to whisper to her at night. War night, as she opens the front door, Carmen encounters something intent on instilling fear in her. A shadow figure with demon horns looms over her briefly before vanishing. Additionally, unexplained lights follow her from room to room. Officially, I assume she was using a flashlight on the wall, but upon closer inspection, intensifying and then retracting, all while she isn't holding a flashlight. If this were random dust, how would you explain it emanating from the chest of a creepy doll and moving directly toward her camera? The paranormal activity appears to be escalating in intensity, and I'll provide updates on new events as soon as they occur, which I anticipate will be soon. Carmen gives the ghost considerable attention, because evidently, ignoring it puts it in a foul mood and leads to even more severe occurrences. Number 1. Lanzo owns a spooky ranch, and he's too scared to go there. He heard it's haunted from his uncle, who once had a creepy chat with a man claiming to be a demon. The man vanished mysteriously. Since that day, strange things happen on the one-acre property. Lots of ghostly stuff going on. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousins to come here at night. Thought I heard something that was scared. I. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears spooky whispers and haunting voices in the nearby woods. He tries to brush off the thoughts. But I believe I heard those whispers too, accompanied by other eerie sounds that might be the wind. It's midnight, and as they get closer, they sense ghostly energy feeding on their fear. Right there. What the f what the f you guys? And I'm gonna impact. Their equipment won't focus on a single spooky area because they believe a ghost is around. Using night vision and motion tracking gear, they spot a super tall figure in the same eerie spot. This makes the dogs bark like crazy. 
since animals know Lonzo well. There's the figure right there. The dogs aren't facing them, providing more evidence that something paranormal has captured their attention. Something's clearly back there. Even the horse seems to be frightened. I feel sorry for all these terrifying encounters. These poor animals probably experience this regularly living on this haunted ranch. The horse starts moving frantically at a certain moment, and then they spot a ghost trying to climb some firewood for a ride. As the panicking animal sways back and forth to escape the apparition, but it's no use. I'm not sure if the horse is scared of a ghost or just hungry as this is a nighttime video. However, I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something. And that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment starts acting up again. I literally can't feel my feet like. It's starting to detect something. Dude. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate but they hardly take a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. We're and in the woods, they hear a really weird voice, like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my God, no. When it utters this phrase, a single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters known to haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So, with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense 